can't even, I can't even do this. Hi, I'm Kyle Miller, one of the two creators of the Arduino Drawing Machine that we have here. The Arduino Drawing Machine uses uh, square waves to draw a picture. We do this by using the Arduino that's mounted on the back of a board, two servo motors seen here and here, and a pin mounted on the gondola. The servo motors drag the pin back and forth in a square wave pattern to reach the ultimate goal of your picture. So we're going to take a closer look at how this drawing machine actually works. You see we have the two motors, each controlling one direction that the machine can be pulled. The pen goes in this gondola here, and as this motor turns back and forth, it controls the up and down of the square wave, whereas when this motor turns, it controls where it is positioned along this arc. The reason that it's in an arc is because um, it's basically a tilted Cartesian coordinate system where this would be your x direction and this would be your y direction. Unfortunately, it w um, we can't get it into a Cartesian system that's parallel to the ground since uh, the servo motors are controlled with speed variability and you can't use trig functions well with the integer values that control their pulse width. Now the gondola is weighted down by this weight here and then it's counterbalanced on the other side with these three weights on each side. Um, what the Arduino has it do, what the program that's on it right now has it do, is it starts in the bottom corner of the image and then draws a square wave along this whole thing. Then it goes up and comes all the way back down and then up and across and all the way up until it hits the end of the image up at the top and then it stops. Part of what makes our Arduino drawing machine more superior than the others that are available on the market is our relatively cheap products that we use. They um, reduce the cost to almost to about $90 per drawing machine, unlike our competitors. You've seen the Arduino drawing machine. It's perfect for any living room, dining room, or anywhere through your house to impress your guests. We've, we want to make it available to everybody, but we need your help. We need to finalize the code and send it, make, go into production. We can, we can keep the price relatively down because of the cheap parts, but we need you for the beginning startup money. So we're trying to raise about mm, $5,000 is all we need to get this. Here you see our code, which we use to draw out Cal Poly physics right now. What it does is it runs through an array that has each pixel, where each pixel value is either 0 or 1, if it's white or black, and calls a function that either draws a dark pixel, which would be the square wave, or a light pixel, which is just the straight line that goes through it. Um, it goes from bottom to top and has to go back and forth using two for loops. Here we have our Arduino that controls the server motors that create our picture. Here's a better look at the Arduino from the back with the wires coming up to the servo motors. And finally, you see your fritzing diagram. So we've learned a lot from this project, from everything from how to calibrate servo motors, how to make servo motors work, to getting our code to do exactly what we want it to do. We had a lot of trouble getting um, the square waves, and even when we tried doing other methods such as spire graphs, it just was insane to try and figure out. We learned that you can't always just use code that you get right off the internet because sometimes it doesn't work with what you have available to you. And we definitely learned that it can be what sounds like a simple project at first can become quite difficult in the end.